Hey, this is Mark Goldberg from Mark Vlogs Watches, and at the end of this video, if you ended up enjoying it, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help. Thanks, guys. Hello, this is Mark Goldberg with yet another video review. This time, we're having a look at the Rolex GMT Master II in ceramic. This one with the all-black ceramic bezel. Now, you might say, have you put this into an attractive urinal? Is it in a rustic outdoor toilet? And the answer would be no. It's sitting here on the edge of the hot tub at the waterfall. Here in beautiful Palm Springs, California. But back to the watch. Look, I'm not going to bore you with the historical bullshit about Pan Am Airlines. You know what? Fuck that. We're well beyond that point in time now. This is a luxury wristwatch with a with a complication that most people don't need, but is very handy if you have, let's say, a mistress in a different time zone. And you want to make sure that you don't constantly have to be asking the wife what time it is in Bangkok. So this allows you to track a second time zone using that rotating bezel. And you'll notice all the way, if we can get all the way in here, where is that little fucking thing? Oh, it's kind of hidden there. It's uh, You'll see a little arrow. This is just a bad time for me to be showing you this. You'll notice that the, uh, the minute hand has like this large looking arrow near it between the two indices, the, between the two round indices. And that's actually the GMT hand. This uh, is sitting here in water with uh, absolutely no problem because it's got the Rolex Oyster waterproof case, which has been around for a million years. And uh, the crown, I don't think I'm going to be able to show it to you in this glare without dipping the, the, the camera in water. But that crown features the Rolex trip lock waterproofing O-ring system a screw-in crown with trip lock. The prior edition of this watch was a, a, a dual lock. It now has three dots on that signed crown, so it's even more waterproof at, at, at this stage of the game. It's got uh, um, a really nice bracelet on it, a beautiful oyster bracelet tapering, as you see, and it, it this iteration of the watch features brushed links on the edges and polished center links. Some people don't like it. It took me a minute to get used to. I'm more used to the tool watches, which have all brushed finish links. Um, this is considerably blingier. Um, it catches the light much more. So it, it, this bracelet stands out a whole heck of a lot more. Put, put it up here to dry in the sun a little bit. Uh, so it's definitely uh, more noticeable. You know, it looked better where it was before. So here, I'll try it up on a rock. As the minutes move along, we're going to get a better look at that GMT hand. You can see right there, that's indicating 3 o'clock in the alternate time zone, 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, 3.11, 3.11, for example, now. Uh, something else that I really like about this watch is that this is featuring the new case style. So the, the lugs are significantly wider. It's still only 40 millimeters wide. However, by making the lugs uh, much wider, I have to say the, the, the wrist presence is, is enormously increased. No, it does not have the elegant uh, tapered lugs of the prior generation on the one hand. On the other hand, there's an awful lot more watch sitting on your wrist now. And what that does is it gives it uh, the same presence that you normally would need a 41 or a 42 millimeter watch to achieve. So Rolex has managed to give you a, a little bit more um, ability to impress people, which is why most people get a watch with polished center lengths that says Rolex on it in the first place. That's a good thing. I'm a guy who likes a slightly larger watch, but I can stay with the Rolex line in this watch and enjoy it because of its larger wrist presence. But the dial also contributes to that presence. The, uh, the case with the larger lugs is called the maxi case, but that dial 
features significantly larger indices and therefore it stands out quite a bit more. Those are white gold uh, metal applied indices and they're filled with superluminova. They're green luminova unlike the new uh, blue featured on the dive watches in the Rolex line. That outer bezel, it does rotate if you don't want to reset the watch to a different time zone by pulling out the crown and moving that 24 hour hand. You can simply move the bezel or you can track a third time zone using a plus or minus GMT system, but I'm not that good at math, so I don't bother with that. The clasp is the new style clasp, as you can see here. It's terrific. Really very excellent. I like it a lot. Um, let me open it up here. And uh, hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to manage. And what you'll notice is that um, there is a small, that's on this side. You can do a, a small micro adjustment. You see on the underside, right inside the clasp there, see that half link? Um, well, we can pull it out. It's, it's, it's clipped in here, but by pulling it out, I can extend it a half, a half link, which gives me another couple millimeters uh, worth of extension on a day in which my hand may swell up due to uh, heat and humidity. It's an accurate watch, but uh, let's be honest, if you really cared about accuracy, you'd have uh, a cheap quartz watch. On the one hand, on the other hand, it is COSC certified, which means it's uh, accurate to within, uh, I think it's plus two, minus four. It's not going to gain or lose a whole lot of time. But uh, frankly, what I think is that it is uh, a watch that's uh, got a unique complication. It's in the sport line of Rolex watches, not in the dress line, on the one hand. On the other hand, it is, uh, it, is, it is a dressy watch because of the black dial, the black bezel, and um, due to the, uh, the polished center links. Those are also solid links now, unlike the previous band. So the center links are solid, the end links are solid, and this watch is, it's, it's meaty, it's substantial and it's heavy. So if you're looking for a watch with uh, a lot of versatility that you can wear to the beach or the boardroom. If you think that you'll feel just as uh, just as dressy at Kentucky Fried Chicken as you will at a at a fancy sit-down restaurant on a cruise with a bottle of wine, well, this 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 is the watch that will do it for you. Here are a couple of wrist shots, so you can see how handsome it looks when it's on wrist. Very legible, quite easy to read. The bezel is unidirectional, and it has a positive stop on each hour. So. On a cheaper GMT bezel, they just use the same 120 clicks, and that means you've got to turn five clicks uh, per hour. And in this case, uh, it's just one click, so it has a um, feels like a ball bearing system for the bezel. Once again, Mark Goldberg with the Rolex GMT.